the worst part about these videos is that I can't listen to music. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, a bunch of you requested like a get ready with me style video and I like never ever 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 do them because I'm just not really huge into makeup. I'm not the best at it. I got problems and people on YouTube really go hard about makeup and so I just tend to stay away from it. But so many people have asked so I felt like you know what, <laughs> it's cool, I'll just deal with the hatred <laughs> um, and give you guys what you have been asking for. So, okay so for my primer I'm going to use the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. Looks like this, kind of jiggly jaggly in there, kind of looks like me, like it's me. Um, I'm not sure that it's really a primer but it's a moisturizer and really that's all I care about. I just want my face to not be super dry so that I don't end up with like dark patches on my skin when I put my foundation on. Okay now I picked up this Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer and I think I'm going to put this on as like the, the base actually below everything else. Um, I usually put concealer on twice because my eyes are quite dark under, you know, down here. So uh, let's see how I like it. I know it's hella thick. So, um, I didn't get a ton, but I think it's going to be more than enough. Oh my goodness, it's so thick. I'm going to need, like, spot conceal with it, too, while we're here. Holy cannoli, this stuff is super thick. That is definitely a lot. All right, use a lot less next time. Good. I also bought, um, the Sonia Kashuk sponge. I always use a beauty blender. I've actually never used anything but a beauty blender. But, um, Ulta doesn't sell beauty blenders. Oh my gosh, this thing is like a rock. I, st I already did what I was supposed to do. It's like a freaking rock. This is awful. Uh, don't recommend. This feels like I'm punching myself in the face. Holy cow, I heard the Real Techniques one is super hard too. Oh my goodness, this is so uncomfortable. Oh wow. Wow. I'm probably giving myself a black eye at this point. Holy cow, this sponge is awful. Oh, screw it. I'm going to use a dirty beauty blender. I'd rather do that. <sighs> that was truly a horrific experience. Am I doing something wrong with it? I mean, I moistened it and whatever I would have done with the beauty blender. Cheese and rice. Right, obviously, I put way too much concealer on my face. <laughs> We're going to be alright. <laughs> Despite the fact that I put like way too much concealer, um, it did a pretty good job. My eyes are pretty covered currently. So usually I go in and do my eyebrows next. I know, like, I feel like everyone has their own order of things and this is my order. I like to do my eyebrows next so that they can get a little messy if they need to. So I'm gonna use the wax from the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to go. Just grab a little bit of that and kind of set them down a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I don't normally do the whole brow with this anymore just because I find that it can be very dramatic. But it's good for like the s middle to end of the brow. I haven't got my brows done in like six weeks. I've been trying to let them grow out a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna get them done on Wednesday, so they're a little messy right now. It's okay though, don't worry. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Chocolate uh, Brow Powder Duo by Anastasia, and I use a lighter color, and I use her little brush. This is a 7B. I had a different one, but um, I mean, they both were fine. I'm gonna put a little bit of this tinted uh, brow gel on it too. They look really dramatic when I don't have any foundation on or um, anything on my eyes, but it's the common, it's the common. All right, let's move on. I usually wait as long as I can before I put foundation on just because I really don't love the one that I've been using um, and so if I'm going to be filming I want it to look as good as possible when I film so I'm going to do my eyes first and I recently picked up this Joseph Colors Marvelous Mauve thing and the freaking thing doesn't close right which is annoying so I was going to return it but I think instead I'm just going to put like a rubber band on it when I travel so really pretty colors and this I think this is all we're going to use maybe we'll need one lighter shade but Let's get some brushes out. All right, let's see what kind of color payoff she's got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, that's a pretty little color. This is a real technique. Text techniques. This is a real techniques brush. BT dubs. Does it even look like I put anything on? It's so light. Maybe I should put the darker one on here and then use this as like a little highlight color. But in the pan, it looked like it was gonna be a little bit more pigmented than this. So I also picked up this Sonia Kashuk, um, I think it's a crease brush. So we're gonna use it in our crease to brush things. Oh, it's, seriously, I feel like it has a lot of, can you see it? 
I feel like it has a lot of like extra fallout here, but whatever. Okay, this one is not dark at all, which is probably good because I suck at blending, so it'll be easier to blend this one. All right, let's go on with the next color and darken the edges a bit. In the corner, I should say. Uh-oh, it's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. It's like literally the story of my life every single time I do my makeup. Like, oh, this is getting dramatic. Crap. Maybe if I spray my brush, it'll be a little bit better. We're gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep building. I'm going further and further down the line of colors. We're just gonna keep building. Should we stop building? Probably. Well, no one's here to talk us out of it, so. Build and build and build some more. All right, now that we've done this to ourselves, no. Okay, I like it, and I like how dramatic it is. I mean, we're gonna clean it up. Don't worry about it. It's not gonna be quite so messy when it's all said and done, but for now, let's just leave it a mess. All right, since we're doing our eyes, let's go ahead and throw some liner on. My favorite liner ever is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. I feel like it is literally pretty easy, and I need that because I am not the best at eyeliner. It's difficult, it's been a long journey. I've gotten to the point where it's fine, it doesn't look crazy, but <laughs> whoa. So this pen has been like, just been, it's been amazing. Okay, the liner's on. I always make it end kind of at my pupil because I really don't like the closed off like look that it gives me when I take it all the way to the center. Um, you know, to each their own. So now that we have this on, I think it's time for some foundation. So currently um, I've been using this one, which is the Makeup Forever one, and I know, okay, you guys told me, okay. So this is the Ultra HD uh, foundation, and last time I was like, I don't know what it's called, I don't know what color is. I still don't really know what the color is. I think it's this one on the bottom, Y23570901. I have no idea. The last time I was like, is it 12M? And you guys are like, no, that's when it expires, dummy. And I'm like, okay, well, there's no color written on it. What do you want me to do? So anyway, I like it sort of. Um, I like that it's buildable. I hate how much I have to use. Like, that was five pumps, and that will cover my face, but like five freaking pumps? Damn, man. That's a lot, considering it's like a, you know, a higher end foundation. I mean, I know it's not the most expensive, but it's not the cheapest either. I probably will not repurchase it, but um, I like it enough to probably finish the bottle. And then I'll move on to whatever the next one is. I don't like a full, full, full coverage, um, just because I feel like, I don't like the foundations that take away my freckles. So I don't know what that means. Do I need a medium coverage? I don't know. I don't have a ton of spots. I just like for my skin to look pretty even. That's usually what I'm going for. Mm. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. But yeah, I like how this looks. I mean, I think the color matches me really well. Again, you guys are seeing like the shadowy version of me. There's the regular version. Um, but I think the color actually matches pretty well. But I feel like it does kind of settle into the lines of my face a bit too much. But the coverage is really good. I know it's really buildable, so if I wanted more, I could keep putting it on, but five pumps, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> All right, so I like the stick, cause it's like so fast. Um, and if I really want like a real, real contour, then I'll go back over it with um, like the Shade and Light palette by, um, what's her face, Kat Von D? And that'll obviously make it much more intense, but for now this will work. Do a little bit up here. My lips are so freaking dry. This is the highlight. A little on my nose and a little on my chin and right above my lip. And then my favorite concealer. I haven't used this one yet. It's brand new. I'm so excited. Try not to go crazy. Um, but it's such a good concealer. Shout out Tarte for killing it. Okay, all blended, right? Did I miss a spot? I feel like I always miss a spot. It looks pretty blended. Now I'm gonna set my under eyes and just these creases around my mouth. Like, hopefully putting powder on it helps. Oh, I forgot I bought this one. Okay, maybe I'll use a combination of both. So, um, I have the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I did just finally buy the Secret Brightening Powder. I used to call this a Secret Brightening Powder, but it wasn't. Um, I, I bought this, or I bought the Secret Brightening one. I made, like, a big old Sephora order today. Um, and hopefully that's, like, amazing. Because I'm about to run out of this, and I didn't buy any more of it. So, I hope I like the Secret Brightening Powder. So, I'm just going to put some of this under my eyes. Um, and I will obviously take off the excess but try not to make any crazy faces right now. 
And then I'm gonna put some around my, dang, let me use the other one. I'll use the other one. I'm gonna use this Airbrush Perfecting Powder by It Cosmetics. I just bought it. This is the Illumination Sheer to Full Coverage Finishing Veil. Um, I mentioned in the other video, I haven't posted it yet in real time, so I don't know what you guys are saying back to it yet. Um, but I mentioned that I have no idea what to even do with these powders. <laughs> but um, here I am. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face and see what exactly it is that's happening. Oh, wow, it actually is, it's kind of helping like to disguise these little lines that I have here. That's cool. And then I have a lot of spots on my chin, so if I could just kind of get the foundation to stay there. And I have a lot on my forehead as well. So, not spots, but I have a lot of like, you know, lines and stuff on my forehead. This is so nice. Huh, I don't even know what it's for, but that's what I'm using it for, and for that, I like it. You know what, my lips are just so dry. I'm gonna use the Fresh Sugar um, sugar Lip Treatment Perfecting one. Squeeze some of this out and kind of scrub at it a bit. See how I can get some of this dead skin off. Glamorous. <laughs> this stuff is so thick, you guys, you have no idea. I like it though, a lot. Especially for like this, this exact thing, like to scrub off anything that might be on there to make it smooth my lipstick I hate the way it leaves the applicator though like you have to clean it all the time it's gross oh look I just cleaned like the whole thing look I just cleaned it with my robe now my robe is gross that's okay though mmm girl it's thick but my lips are like a thousand times juicier now let's get some of it off look at that my lips are like so much juicier now hi oh, what's up girl so feel like you're doing your makeup right now with your younger like less advanced sister who just doesn't get it because that's really the the angle I'm going for here. All right, now let's highlight a little bit. Um, I don't even know what these colors are called anymore. They're from Anastasia though. Again, I took them out of the pan. Probably shouldn't have. I think this is from the Nicole Guerrero kit though. And I've just used them like to death. I just ordered a new one though from Sephora, so I'm pretty excited about that one. Some of them look a little brown for me, but whatever, I'll make it work. I'll mix it with like a white one or something. What am I doing? <laughs> you were just stopping attention. <laughs> And you're like, oh, okay, let me just put this everywhere. And then I like to take just a little bit on my finger and go right underneath my brow bone. I like a little highlight up there. Could I use a brush? Probably. And then right on the inside of my eye. The inner corner. So that's what it's called. Duh. All right, now we're going to do some lashes because we are filming today. So I think I'm going to do the Demi Wispies. Nah. Wispies? No. You know what? Let's try this off-brand. I got these from Target. I don't know if it's an off-brand, but they're Cosmania Lashes for Days Pro Lash 5-Pack Starter Kit. I think they're cute. Let's give them a shot. Okay, a little shorter than I anticipated. Girl, you gotta bend. Be flexible, mama. Okay, lashes are on, and in order to kind of get them to sit properly, because they were not as flexible as I'm used to, so they were sticking out a little bit in the front, I ended up having to take my liner all the way into it the inner corner of my eye, which I don't like doing, but that's okay. I don't think they look bad. So I'm gonna go into my lower lash line now, back with this marvelous mauve dose of colors, and um, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna just kind of pile on a little bit of these two colors right here. I can get these nails done so bad, but I'm trying to wait for like right before my trip, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't wanna do it too early. So we're just gonna stay really close to the lower line and attempt to not get it in our eyeball. Okay, before I do my mascara, I'm gonna um, put some of this Photo Finish Primer Water on. I know it's primer water, but I do like to set my face with it. It just feels kind of nice. And I'm just gonna dab in all the stuff in my face with um, the Beauty Blender. Well, I really don't hate these lashes. I mean, they're a little stiff, so you gotta like bend them more before you put them on. Before I put them on. I should probably like do that next time, but. I don't hate it. I'm gonna use one of these liners. This is Nude by Gerard Cosmetics. I just need some kind of liner. This has nothing to do with the color I'm gonna put on. I just like to have a liner on. This is in the color Dreamer and this is the Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Ink. Oh, actually, I think this is gonna look pretty. No, it's not. It's gonna look orangey. Purple? No, I need something purpley. You kind of purple? Oh, kind of like a brownish purple. Oh, she's a winner. Okay, we're gonna put on Mile High by Jarred Cosmetics. Hi, 
so my face is done I'm gonna dry my hair and then throw on an outfit and I will be right back oh and before I do that oh, let me reach I'm gonna put on some of this Olivia care body oil um, the smell is amazing it's called apricot fig and it's just so good so I'm gonna put this all over my body and then do my hair so it dries and then put on an outfit so I'll be right back alright guys I am officially ready to film this is the completed look I just blow dried my hair with a round brush really simple um, I'm really digging this lipstick. I like it. And I put on this top from The Gap. I've talked about it so many times already. Target bag. <laughs> um, but I love it so much. It's so cute. The back has like this little thing. Oh, so cute. I will link it down below. And I literally don't have pants on because I'm gonna film with this camera. And I never wear pants when I film because it's just a luxury. <laughs> So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up let me know if you want to see more like I said I'll try to get better with the actual filming style this is obviously not my normal kind of content but anyway I hope that you guys are having a really amazing day and a really wonderful holiday season <sighs> my favorite time of year <laughs> and um, I hope that you'll subscribe and I will see you in my next video so I'll see you later guys bye